much street fashion, hood fashion, you know, we come from the street, so we keep it street. That's right, that's right. So how long you been doing uh, the clothing line, my brother? Um, probably about two years. Been doing very well. Um, I'm also an actor, so I wear the clothing in the movies, so next year you'll see a lot of me and a lot of my clothing line in pretty much every movie is this. It's the theater. Everybody's just rolling in style. So what are some of the movies that you've been working on, my buddy? Uh, with Perch 2, um, Let's Be Cops, um, Cyber, um, shoot, all the TV shows that are out there, Castle, Justified, um, Gang Related, check that out. That's a new series coming out on Fox. Um, I'm so you're all over the me. place. I mean, how did this happen? How did this happen to this uh, little Mexican boy from, you know... Southern Cali, or you know, you just just started. Uh, they like the look and the attitude, so right I away, just huh? yeah, basically, you know. Well, I mean, the thing is that you're actually a, oh, you're a, a real person. You yeah. Know? And you do you look you look a certain way, but speaking to you on the break, totally different person. Which you, which you portray on the outside is a total different person in the inside. Because you're such a positive person and you're doing such a great thing. And like we were talking about Chicanos in in movies and acting. Um, over the years, it's starting to expand little by little, but you're starting to open up more doors now because of the fact that you got youngsters that are, are seeing more and more Chicanos on the big screen. You're seeing more of them on uh, just daytime television, on the nighttime even. Uh, we were watching the Paranormal movie right, with right, right. Mexican boys in L.A., you know? It's like, Everything. wow, you just touched like a, a heartstring of mine because um, my family's from, you know, East L.A. I was raised out here in the Inland Empire after a little while, and... Um, Knowing that there's movies out there that actually I can relate to, and hi, the Kukui can really come and get me, and it's right. a Mexican that's actually you know <coughs> acting out these uh, these movies. That's pretty great. Yeah. That's pretty great. So um, as far as uh, the doors opening for you, do you see that the music scene and the, and the movie scene is going to be m more exp like expanding more and more doors opening actually, for Chicanos? Actually, the movie and the music scene is embracing us even more and more. Right. Like the more I do it, the more we're receiving the love that we deserve and, you know, and we're giving back, so, you know. Because we are the majority, you know. Yeah, we, we are, are the majority, talking about that. so, you know, we are going to be running that stuff pretty soon, <laughs> you know. But watch out, big corporate <laughs> wet man. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, watch out. You know, out it's not about time. that, though. I mean, the reality is that we all have that equal opportunity here. We've been in the country, What's you know, you just gotta take advantage of it, you know. Some people saying? just they'd rather be in their kitchen making the pozole, you know. I would rather do that too, but um, that's not where the money's at. You know <laughs> that's not where the money's at, you know, exactly. We're, we're we're trying to find the money, the gold, right. you know. Right. So what got you into acting, my brother? Um, I was stuck at home. Um, I got a call from a director and he said, "Damn, we like your look." And I was like, "What do you want me to do?" You know, <laughs> doing some bad guy stuff, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I enjoyed it. It was something I would do on a regular day basis, but now I'm getting paid for it and I'm not going to jail. So being you know? a bad guy on a regular day basis? Yeah, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Everybody needs a bad guy, it's all good. Yeah, I'm there. Yeah. <laughs> so. Well, that's pretty cool. So, uh, what are your dreams as far as, um, I know you're working on a few um, commercials and movies now. What are you, What is uh, your expectation of this? Um, just the scene itself, just as far as uh, how far do you want to take this career? Like, Well, I, I want to kind of move away from the typecasting and move to a, a human character and not just be judged for my look or my tattoos or, you know, the Well, now they have the special effects where they can just airbrush all these yeah, tattoos that, off you. Yeah, that and takes a lot of time. Yeah. I don't really like to be airbrushed nor makeup. You don't like to be in the makeup chair. Yeah, I'm like, please, <laughs> don't make up me. Don't you would be you know. really surprised, but now they have the airbrush guns, it's really fast. Oh, yeah. It's really fast. Yeah. Don't even, don't no. judge me. I'm sleeved, but on my wedding day, I'm going to be airbrushed now. Oh, really? Yeah, on my oh, that's way a beautiful thing. Yeah, so I was going to be like, shh, shh, shh. I did They're going to think that the tigers are attacking me in my, you know, in my bride's room. I did a movie called VHS3. I shouldn't even say that, but um, it comes out this year or maybe at the end of this year, but I was in full facial makeup, like crazy makeup for three so days straight. So you did like special effects, like the big heavy makeup? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What? Like two or three hours of makeup. I'll show you guys a picture offline, but. So how amazing is it that, like, as a little boy or, you know, as a kid, you would watch these actors uh, on television or in movies, and now you're actually playing roles. You're being given the scripts and the hard work that goes behind it. Tell us a little bit about what your, what a, you know, your day's like when you're uh, filming art. My day's crazy. Um, 
I'm getting 